I would like to show you how to create a dynamic normal distribution chart in Excel. So to do that, let's create a data set. Imagine that I have a gas mileage uh, data set, MPG. Um, so I'm going to create some numbers between 20 to um, all the way up to 50, for example, uh, maybe 40. That should be enough. So I want to visualize this as a X values um, uh, miles per gallon and then uh, I would like to calculate the probability or I could say frequency of the distribution associated with this value and imagine that we have a historical uh, standard deviation for example, two maybe, and then two miles per gallon. Um, I also need the mean value to create a normal distribution. So mean, I can just type a function average. Can average this. So my mean value thirty, mean gas mileage, and then I know the historical uh, standard deviation two. For example, population is standard deviation. Now let's go ahead and calculate all the probabilities. So equals norm dist. Uh, norm dist will produce uh, probability for a x value if we have the mean and standard deviation. So I want to get the probability for this value. And then the mean value, I will use this mean for each of these uh, data. So I'm going to freeze that comma same for a standard deviation comma now if you type zero um, if we type one it's going to give me if it's true it will give you cumulative probability so for a normal distribution it's going to be all the way from the left side up to that 20 miles per gallon now i don't want that i want to create a bar chart or some kind of area chart like that and then plot something like that to do that um, I can get the frequency by typing zero. So this will create a random frequency value. However, they are proportional to these uh, numbers. As you can see, that's not really probability. It's just a frequency. So let's go ahead and just type frequency instead of normal distribution probability. Let's um, so copy this all the way down. I see. So I did not freeze that standard deviation. Let's do that. Uh, copy all the way down. So these are the values associated with um, we can actually write probability too. That's not a big issue. Now let's go, if I want to find a uh, probability that is, um, for example, uh, less than gas mileage, say I'm interested to see how many car is getting less than um, 25 miles to the gallon, uh, or how many car is getting uh, more than say 35 miles to the gallon if that is the interest now I want to create that two charts too however I would like to have a dynamic level so if I change these values the chart associated with that um, x values changes dynamically so to create a dynamic level I have to have some kind of formulas uh, start with a quotation mark p probability um, then less than I uh, stop the quotation mark, uh, close the quotation mark, and then M percent, and then select these. This will, um, this level would change if we change this uh, value. For example, you see 25 now, so I want to change 20. See, so it's changed 20. Now let's keep it 25. Now I would like to create probability under this column C less than 25 uh, so I, again I must have a 
condition like if um, if this gas mileage value is uh, less than or equal to or less than uh, this value now I want to test uh, each of these cells with this condition so I'm gonna freeze that comma if that is the condition then give me this cell if that is not the case then give me nothing so I can copy that on the way down you can see after 25 there will be no values so here it is so less than 25 and after that even though I have the formula written but I'm not getting anything now see I want to find something more than 25 so equal quotation mark P parenthesis then greater than close the quotation mark and percent and then this value 35 if I change these to 40 you can see that it's changing dynamically now to have that um, condition here if this is greater than this value and I'm going to be using this cell for each of these so let's freeze that comma then if that condition made then give me this probability if that does not mean then give me nothing and I can go ahead and copy that as you can see nothing is nothing you can see here however after 35 we'll see the probability so you can see starting from 35 is more than 35 is also taking 35 and you can see it's going all the way to the end now I would like to plot all of these using an area chart and go to more areas and then select something that look like a normal distribution something like that now um, I want to have levels for uh, this uh, chart so y axis you can type probability or frequency doesn't really matter they can be they are similar in this case now this is the gas mileage data in mpg miles per gallon and then the chart title is the dynamic chart for normal distribution now you can see this label less than 25 greater than 35 and these are the area before that area after that now I can change this value to for example uh, 35 or uh, say 30 30 was the mean value as you can see the half of the area is now uh, shaded meaning that so this gives you an idea about uh, you know um, where things are now you would like to see how many cars are getting less than say 25 so you can see only this much area very very small less than say um, how many cars are getting more than uh, 40 nothing because my data has only up to gas minus 40 how many cars are getting more than 35 mpg more than 30 mpg so you can see half of the area so that's it about the and as you change all these this will be changed automatically uh, so that's it about the dynamic normal distribution chart